Hi, this is Hedonism 2 in Negril, Jamaica. This is a place where it will definitely spice up your marriage or your relationship and you don't have to worry about having the perfect body because it completely changed my life when I went there and it is not specifically for swingers you can go there and just stay by yourself or stay with the person you're with you are not expected to do anything you're uncomfortable with just say no there is no pressure on you these are the rooms they redecorated them since the last time I was there this is the entrance this is the spa the beach the uh, the water there is a little bit rocky I would bring some sand shoes and a float with a magic marker to put your name on those are the cliffs uh, there's a lot of cliffs in the Dominican just like in Jamaica and um, there's a schematic of the whole place. It's about 400 a night and worth every dime uh, because you get all the alcohol and all your meals, uh, all you can eat all the time. Here is uh, the, some of the food that they serve. You get lobster uh, on certain nights. Uh, there is a minimum there now. The breakfasts are to die for. The people that work there are amazing. You Anything that you want, just ask. It's, it's a tradition there to get uh, a rock, uh, bring some fingernail polish, and you can make your own rock or get one of the Jamaicans to do it for you. You can also renew your vows there or get married. That was the piano bar. This is the playroom. They just have recently have this. Um, I've never been there. They didn't have a playroom and I'm not sure what they do but you can only imagine. And here is the uh, place where you buy your jewelry. These are some of the restaurants. There's many restaurants. This is the spa. Uh, the massages there are wonderful and uh, facials there and this is the entrance and you don't have to leave the resort it is extremely safe there is guards when you first get into Jamaica you're going to be a little alarmed to see AK-47s or whatever at the airport and all the old Chevys go there to die but um you must go to Rick's Cafe, as you saw there. Uh, everybody goes there. But you can stay on the resort. You don't have to leave. They have snacks there. Uh, whatever you pack in your suitcase, dump it out. And only pack sunglasses and sunscreen because this they do have a nude beach and a prude beach. There's souvenirs. Um, that is the entrance to the jewelry place. And uh, like I say, you're not expected to do anything you don't want to. They have lots of swimming pools. They even have private ones if you want it, you know. Um, that is what we're looking at is the grotto, which is near the the um, swim-up bar. You don't tip here, but if I wanted extraordinary service, I would fold up a 20 and just, hand, you know, shake somebody's hand and give it to them. But you really need to get Chris Santilli's book, uh, the Naked Truth About Hedonism, I would highly advise that you read that before you go or you will uh, be lost. Um, yeah, as you see that sign, uh, and they mean it. I, I used to get in trouble a lot with the, with the police there because I had too much jewelry on on the Naked Beach, if that's, if that's possible. But yeah, that's the old decorating scheme. Um, they have a pasta bar and here is the uh, if you look at if you look at that last photo uh, back it up there's it's what we call the french fry shack uh, if you go to the french fry shack you will see a picture of me naked with a black straw hat on yeah uh, a lot of people will bring their um, their car tags to put in at the sw swim up bar and you can bring uh, a lot of people bring photos now the, the photos of them there and they'll put it in the french fry shack um the maids there uh are wonderful and uh they are very the Jamaicans their culture is just fantastic the food to, is to die for I actually go there for the food the egg salad the jerk chicken is amazing once you have real Jamaican jerk chicken 
you you will always remember that um yeah there are people there that will protect you uh they don't allow people on that beach you can walk through hito's two's beach but you can't stay uh, that's why they have the guards. The guards are there to protect you and make sure you have a good time. There's always something to do. Always. Like I said, you don't have to take off your clothes because there's a prude beach. They do have toga night. You just saw that couple there. Uh, you, when you go to these uh, theme dinners, you don't have to dress up. You, uh, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. It is very laid back. And this is the place to experience things you've never experienced before. And here is the rocks. Yeah, get Chris Santelli's book. It's on Amazon, The Naked Truth About Hedonism 2. Uh, I don't think there was ever a Hedo 1, but um, the Playboy channel sometimes, uh, I think once in a while they'll do a special down there. I don't know. but. Uh,